Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play The Legend of Dragoon for PlayStation. My name is The Flightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel, and today... Well today we are possibly taking on the Emperor himself. Yeah, we just defeated uh, the Gigantos and... I went back to the Merchant. And what I did at the Merchant was I just healed myself and bought healing potions. I probably could have got all my SP up if I chose to. Via the, uh, the SP items that the guy probably sells, but I decide not to if if it gets really difficult And I find I need that I'll go back and get it But for now, you know, we're just going in with what we have uh, I don't have any MP on dart and Albert Shauna has 20 it, It's kind of a risky thing to just go full steam ahead, but you know what? Let's get dangerous I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day. Oh, I found a chest back here. Material shield. What the heck is that? Um, it's not an item. I mean, it's not an equipment. A nullifies physical attack for three turns, and it's a repeatable item, too. Huh. That seems good. But it's probably only for one person, so you probably have to redirect the attacks that one person and then put the shield up. I wonder how you could come all the way here, silly daredevils. Oh, that's cool. It's got the Cody Vader. You must be dull. Uncle, do you remember me? I am the son of your late brother, Albert. You remind me of Carlo 20 years ago. Bloodstained corpse in front of me. Why did you kill him? Why did you have to divide Sergio by killing my father? I had to save Sergio from an incapable leader named Carlo. And now, my hands are about to give birth to the new Sergio. Birth? What are you doing? Is only- What you're doing is only destructive. Yes, you have given birth to sorrow, pain, agony, and our anger. Tell me, why did you have Shauna taken away? Oh, you are talking about Lloyd's conspiracy. Pines the girl by the time the moon that never sets walks is yada 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 yada. All is ordered by the reborn Emperor Diaz. Lord is mere pawn. Along with the dragons. Silly, Emperor Diaz died in the dragon campaign. As a human, as a hero. I don't care whether you believe it or not. It won't make any difference to the reality. You thought you would defeat me with greater numbers, right? You know what's weird is I was just talking about that. <laughs> I think it was the last episode. Come, I'll send you to your father's place! Uncle Dole. Epic music commences and I am so unprepared for this. At least I'm not damaged. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, at least I'm not damaged, right? Yes. Wow. Great start, Flightless Bird. Great start. Great start, Flightless Bird. You're 0 for 2 now. 0 for 2. She needs to get two shots off to get to Dragoon form. She actually can do something. She has 20 MP. That doesn't scare me yet. Although he is fast. Okay, that's starting to scare me. It's kind of a 
weird addition. It almost feels like a volcano, except with like one extra step. Okay, that scares me. Are you kidding me, game? Oh, that's, oh my gosh, she survived? How the heck did she survive that? Dude, this guy is way too fast. Shauna has it gone and he's gone three times. Like, just think about that for a second. Shauna, one of the fastest characters. Yes. Yes. See, it kind of feels like an, a volcano. Okay, that's not horrible. I probably want to guard with her, because if he does something to her, she may die. I mean, he's died pretty fast. I don't know how he's dying pretty fast, but he's dying pretty fast. Ugh, I don't want to play. If you want to play tip, I could play that way too. Is he going dragon form? No, but he is. Yep, yep, he's going to good form. I was afraid of that. Okay, at what point do I need to really start being worried? Uh, now? Draco and Dole. Keep attacking yes. them. Uh, Shine is doing good with recovery. She can uh, dragon as well. Let me have a defend one more turn. I mean, our big beefy boys over here are doing really well at taking damage. Oh god, this doesn't look good. It may not look good, but that looked cool as heck. Oh my god, 321 HP. Oh my lord. Yeah, that was cool as heck though. Uh, I really need a breeze here, without a doubt. I mean, that just, that just recovered me from whatever the heck he just did. Have you could have you heal a bear, but I'm kind of afraid of it hitting me. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. This is exciting though, because this also means I have a chance of probably getting a dragoon spirit at the end of this fight. And if I do, a character like Hashel. May finally get his Dragoon Spirit. And then I could start using him more. He's got a lot of HP now. His first form died so fast, but this one is. Uh, yeah, let's have you attack so you can get to max Dragoon form. And now all I have to do is get Albert to his and we can special. she went before he did now I can defend guys so much HP oh, 
Dang it, he's doing that move again. I only have one healing beast left. I don't want to use it here. I don't think I need to use the healing breeze here. Really, um, I can probably get away with a couple of healing potions. Or I can defend here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Come on, game! Back to back when the AoE does like 50,000 damage and your characters only have 200. I'm having flashbacks to these guys are Arcadia. That one volcano boss in the beginning of the game just kept doing his AoEs over and over and over again. And I died, and then when I fought him again, he never did it like. He only did it like once. I need Albert to put some damage in him. do I do? Yeah. I'm gonna have him final burst once I get to Dragoon form. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna have you heal Albert. Uh, he really needs to get his, um, his, uh, final Dragon level here. Shana may be able to heal Dart when we go Dragoon form. I also could fully uh, MP up uh, Albert so that way. That way he can do that uh, defense move, which is really, really powerful. I just gotta hope he doesn't do his AoE attack again anytime soon. That was huge. That was clutch right there. Because if I didn't clutch that out, I would not be at max Dragoon right now. But now I am. So now I can special it up. I think Dragoon also increases your stats. So hopefully I'll be able to survive a little bit better from his massive attacks that he's doing. Uh, do final burst. I can do all. Okay, he's down to yellow at least. That's good. We need big numbers here. Big numbers. Big numbers. Big numbers. Yeah, those are big numbers. That's what I'm talking about. And now she can use Moonlight on Dart. And she still has one more. Uh, she still has one more heal up her belt as well. And if, and, and if I can just get this guy not to use his AOE before Albert can use his defense up maneuver, we can really take advantage of. Why do I say anything? Why do I talk? Every single time I say something, it blows up in my face. It's like the computer can hear me say it. It's like, oh, that's a great idea, Flightless Bird. Let me go ahead and do that thing that you just said. Would be a horrible thing if it happened. Oh, 
Okay, didn't do as much damage because we are in dragon form, so that's good. Shauna though is still hurt. And I hate to use this on Shauna for only, I have to use this on Shauna. Unfortunately though, that means she's not in dragon form anymore. And if he does that AoE move again before it's her turn, before I can defend with her, she's gonna take a lot more damage. Albear's turn, please. Let me have Albear's turn, please. Thank you. All right, uh, Rose Storm. Absolutely. Let's get that defense up. You know, Albear's character and Lavitz's is sort of like a paladin. You know, really nice attack, very high defense. Not as so much magic defense, though. But he's also got these, like, defensive buffs. Okay, let's do our super move one more time. He's in the red. This is good, this is good. This may actually kill him. And if it doesn't kill him, we have our shields up. So we're in a good spot. Providing there's not another boss after him, in which case I'm totally screwed. <laughs> I mean, I can still go more, because with that defense up, I have two more turns where... Yeah, yep, yeah, that's it, because Albert deformed, which means the fight should be over. Huzzah! Cinematic Slash! Woo, good job, team. Was my XP for that fight? Game. Yeah, become strong. Uncle. What you should know is not the past, but the future. Pursue Lloyd. He is in the western country of Tibora. Tabora. He knows everything. Go and find out about the world, about everything. This music is lit. Love it. That stone go. I want that stone, dang it. Ah, oh, there's our EXP up. Level up for Shauna. Level for Dart and Albert. Level up for Hashel. Another for Rose. Poor Rose. Shauna is still so far behind now. I thought we were supposed to wake him up, not kill him. My uncles, her and Bertol's ambitions are over. It places an end to this ceaseless long war that has divided Sodio into two. This is the end of our journey, everyone. Kidding? Gotta pursue Lloyd, didn't you hear him? Not yet. It's not over yet. That journey began when Shannon was taken away. 
I love this music. Then Lavitz was killed, and Lloyd headed for Tibora, leaving the mystery about Shana behind. I am pursuing Lloyd! I'll make him explain everything! I'll go with you. I still don't know anything about Raj or what was said about by Emperor Diaz. My journey cannot end like this. I'll go with you, Dart. I'll go with you to the end of the world. My journey cannot end either. Whatever conspiracy the man is forming, the moon gem is one of the keys. Hollowed object concealing the magic power of the ancient winglies. We have to stop it before it ignites a catastrophe in Tiboroa. I'll go with you to Tiboroa. I'll give up my status as king for a while and live as a dragoon instead. Lavitz would have completely agreed. What? What? How about you? I told you, I'm interested in you guys. So? Besides, you feel naked without me, wouldn't you? Hey, first is going. Let's well, end my road. Really? Are you just leaving? Hashel, where are you going? Uh, this is. Yes! I was right! Yes! Let's go! When dragons meet, blood will flow, and as they leave, time does slow. It's your choice to leave your fate behind. The uh, question is answered. Dragon spirits are leading us. Woo! Can I actually use Hassel now. How about that? Let's go! Question is, where are we going? Are we going... Are we just gonna go to Tibor? Please answer this too. Please wait. Sodium War. Oh, okay. So the game actually tells me that I completed a disc. It's kind of a weird thing how they do the, uh, the re-release there. Hey, it works, right? Chapter 2, The Platinum Shadow. Or the shadow of the platinum haired one? Oh, that was weird. It flashed on and then flashed off. Let's get Sephiroth by some him sometimes. Which is not a bad thing. I mean, last time I said that, it was, uh, it was the guy from, uh, Skies of Arcadia, right? Rodriguez, was it? Oh, where are we? Hold on, I need to leave. I want to see what the map looks like. Tiboroa. Okay, so... Twin Castle and Pletz. Can I not go back now? Because... I was hoping to go back to uh, look at the, uh, the Stardust that we had. But I guess we can't do that anymore. Speaking of Stardust, is there any in this town? Probably. I really wish I wanted to slide so much when I'm trying to click on things. It seems they are not used often. Or it seems they are used all or not, yeah. What's with this town? This town almost looks like something out of Kona Cross. Remember that one uh, ocean port town? Closed. I love Nest. Yeah, like the buildings feel that way. I smell the ocean from this river. It's close to the sea. Is anything wrong with the bridge? It says Claire Bridge. It's the same name as my mom. Oh, my, what? Oh, my runaway daughter is named Claire, too. Huh, one of my daughter is your mom. That would be really weird. How old are you, Ash? <laughs> I need to know now. <laughs> Uh, there may be some secret connection between us. 
It's impossible to have such a coincidence. I agree with you. Let's say the population in this continent is about 1 million, and 550,000 are women. According to the statistics of the Royal Personnel Authority, 4% of all women have the name Claire. It means from a statistical point of view. Just looking tells it all. They don't look at each other at all. Hmm, indeed. Craniscopically. What the heck is craniscopically? Uh, the distance between the skull. Okay, so cranial. Uh, brain wise. How, how in the world do you know all this? Anyway, I know he's a king, but jeez. Cranioscopically speaking, the distance between the skull, eyeballs, and also the toe bones are. Let's go. We won't finish talking until dusk. I should actually look at the. Status. Ah, uh, yep, Atomic Mind. He now is a dragoon. Indeed. Excellent. So we need to make some changes to our party here. Uh, Hashel. Hashel's level 15, though. It's kind of crazy. Like, his level is just way above. Shana, I probably want to keep in here because she's still behind. But Rose, I haven't been using them all, and I probably need to use her. So, Hashel and Rose? I mean, I could sub out Shauna and Rose because they both can heal. Level 1, level 2. How are we doing ed additions? Uh, 6 of 20? I thought it was higher than that. Uh, more and more. And double punch. Okay. Uh, the royal family of Tiboa has two princesses. Okay, let's see what's in the shop. Is this a... That was gonna be a stardust. Is this a weapon too? What? Ah, there we go. There's a stardust. Just gotta click everywhere. Okay, uh, we have 4,800. Uh, Shadow Carter, it's a better weapon for her, and I just put her in my party. So that works out well. Chainmail, better for him. Even though I'm not using him right now, I'll go ahead and give it to him. Uh, Salt Boots, even though I'm not using Shana, I will give it to her as well. Things don't cost a lot in this game. You know, basic stuff, which is good because the really good stuff costs a ton. Uh, avoid status, automatic additions, uh, so here's the workout calling, which I don't need. Uh, bewitchment, fear, stun. Problem with items like that is you don't know you need them until after you've already been hit by it. To go to Donau, Dono, Donau, you have to go through the Barrens, and that place is infested with bandits. If you want to arrive in Donau, save it sound. You better arm yourself to the teeth. Well, at least uh, we got a better weapon with Rose, and we just started using her, so that, that kind of works out pretty well. I think that's very fortuitous. So here we have our item shop. Look at this place. So cool. It's beautiful work. Uh, is this shaped by the universe too? Ah! These are just pile up and that's what makes these gems look so beautiful. Clerk at the jewelry shop. I would assume this is items. No, it's not. When damage from magic SP is accumulated, MP is accumulated, when physical damage SP is accumulated, that's pretty decent. Uh, when physical damage MP is accumulated, also pretty decent. None of that stuff I need though. I thought this would be an iron shop. And Tibro, gems are used as amulets. These are not for mere decoration. Gems look like stars, don't they? People want to always feel a star close to them by gems in this country. Sorry, I was mashing buttons. I didn't see a text box up here. Huh? What's going on?
Shoot, P Princess Emile is here. It's too sudden. It's scary. Guys, please help us through this. I heard somebody say shoot. Who said that? Wow, no one likes her. Hey, I'm the princess in this country. You had to be nice to me. Off with their heads. <laughs> That's what she reminds me of. Uh, excuse me, your highness. I would like you to name my soon to be born baby. I don't think so. It's it's a Helen Wheels. Matter of fact, call it that. Oh no. Disgusting. Stop crying. Since my husband was killed by bandits, this is baby's my only hope. Hmm. Bandits. Fairy, you bar me. Off with the head. <laughs> oh no. What a piece of trash that woman is. I mean, this place is going to hell in a handbasket real quick. Is is that Princess Emile? I heard that she was very sweet. Oh no, this is a dream. Please wake me up. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, did Emperor Dole used to be nice and then Lloyd kind of messed with his head? What if uh, Lloyd is at play here? So she may not actually be like this. She's being mind screwed, whatever. Uh, there are many other things uh, than there are many things other than star related products in the store. I don't know why that was hard to say. It's not for sale. Starburst, yes. What do you say? Who would buy such a big telescope? I'm glad that they actually know what a telescope is. That's kind of cool. Okay, I do need to buy some items probably. Uh, let's see. I really need another healing reason why I need, but they don't sell them probably. Oh, maybe they do. A new chapter. Uh, I need some MP stuff. And I probably can get rid of some of these attack items because I really don't use them as much. Especially when I'm fighting, you know, out in the wild because uh, because I want to level my additions. Oh, they do sell healing breezes here. Oh. Okay, so let's buy two healing breezes. It's expensive but worth it. Buy two of these as well to make up for the ones we used. And part of me wants to buy another one of these just because it's so good. Yeah, that, that should be fine for now. This is a great item shop. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. There is an astronomer named Festo living in this city asking about the stars. The Sylvester is the best astronomer in the city, although he is an academic case down to Earth, too. I like how I found Stardust in, like, every single shop. That was cool. Okay, let's go left first, because if I'm... If I'm thinking correctly, there's not going to be anything in this city that's going to cause me not to be able to fully explore the city. Uh, I can see the Aquaria well, for Reef. Well, that's all I can see. Really? Should be a Stardust up there. I don't even know what Stardust do yet. I <laughs> just know that they must do something good, right? Oh, Princess Emile, what you left behind is just trouble and scraps. What happened to you? Nobody's allowed to go into castle except with those with permission. It has been six months since the Princess Emil turned into a rowdy person. I wanted the graceful Princess Emil or the past is just an illusion. How could the gentle Prince Emil turn into such a rowdy person? Is she suffering from a bad illness or is she maybe haunted by a devil? What happened to Princess Emil? Yeah, like I said, I think Boy got to her is what I'm it is what I'm guessing because that just seems right. It looks like it's almost about to collapse, but it doesn't warp out. This is uh, the clinic, right? I mean, that's got that weird thing. Why is a clinic an in separate in this game? And why can't I get over to where that guy is? Uh, I can't. 
I mean, there's clearly a guy there, but I can't get to him. I, I probably had to step here, and he says, hello. And I'm like, hello, I don't need your services. He's like, okay, go away. And I'm like, all right, all right, fine. I won't be back. I, I just wanted her to give my baby a name so that my baby will be happy, but Princess Emile was. It's not fair, Princess Emile. He protected me, and I was and was done in by a bandit. I don't know how I can thank him. My grandma used to say, if you see a girl in trouble, help her even if it means risking your life. So this is an honorable injury. Ha 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 ha. It's a well-made skeleton model. Okay, nothing up here. It's so weird whenever you, you can like go up somewhere and then, you know, there, there's nothing there. It's like, why does that exist? Why even have a ladder going up to the roof if there's nothing on the roof? Exit stage, right? It seems nobody's home. Looks like that would be Fester's home. Anyway, it's a funny looking house. It's got a star on it and it's got the, the globe up top. I mean, if there's ever a home for an astronomer, astronomer, that would be it, right? If you're looking for a person, look for the look for a bar. The more people, the more information. It's on the second floor of that building. Cool. We'll get there, don't worry. Uh, walk away. It's a strange shape. <laughs> Have you seen Princess Meal? Move. Move. Um. No, but I am looking for Stardust. I didn't see any. Uh, let's check out our stats. Oh, we do need a rest. Yeah, we do need a rest. I, I, I was under the impression that we would have gotten a free heal. But the game's like, nope! Ah, ha, 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 ha! Very funny, Flightless. You think, you think that, uh, the game's gonna give you a free heal? Ha, 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 it's very cute. <laughs> Okay, that's the guy at the bar. We'll, 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 um, we'll go there a second. Let's go here first. The problem now is bandits rather than plants. And now there are bandits everywhere and they act as if they own the country. Good grief. Good grief, Charlie Brown. The human scoundrel. I got this one from Mr. Nello. The seller is a great person. He could learn something from him. I don't see anything. I don't see what? Nope, 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 nope. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, up here. Oh, excellent. I must have been wine in here before I could tell by the smell. Welcome! Come on in! All the way to the back! There's like no one in here. Oh, it's such slip books! She just leans back. <laughs> you guys are from out of town, aren't you? Um, yes we are. I knew it. I could immediately tell you are not from here. You guys, mm-hmm, smell like exact foreigners. Let me give you a quick introduction to this town. You saw lots of star shapes in town, didn't you? There were decorations on top of roofs or mosaics on the streets, right? Because it's it's because Timberwarns have faith in the stars. Naturally, we have an advanced astronomy. It's the study of the stars, isn't it? Sounds wonderful. Right? We are here to pursue Lloyd. What do you say? Uh, what are you guys whispering about? Are you becoming more interested in stars? Uh, yeah, we are. Really? To tell you the truth, I love to talk about people, uh, stars with people from out of town while working at this here bar. 
Well, the stars are beyond the sky. They are way over the clouds. They are bright, although they are far away, because each of the stars has a lighthouse on it, because they have a lighthouse and never get lost in the sky. And, 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 and. Hey, Kathy, don't give the customer a hard time. Ah, okay. Sorry, but I gotta back to work. I want to come back later. I have lots of things to tell you. Besides, actually, we're not that busy. <laughs> I can tell there's no one here. Ah. They're using this bay window as a table. It looks nice. The bottles of liquor are lined up. Each customer has their own bottle. Uh, they're using this bay window as a table. It looks nice. She works all right, but talks too much about all that silly stuff. You wanna to talk to me some more? It's okay now, because my boss not looking at us. So come on, all the way to the back. I know about you wanna ask something about the stars. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep, we are looking for a man named Lloyd. Hmm, Lloyd? I don't know. Uh, I miss Kathy the hot the hipster doesn't know it means he probably isn't in this town. Are you still interested about hearing this about stars? Uh yeah. Uh-huh. Sorry, I only know things that everybody else knows. You know what? I'll introduce you to the person you would like. Is a star named Fester. He's he is crazy about the moon that never sets. Uh, I think he'll tell you lots of interesting things. The moon that never sets? You know, the one over there, the strange star in the sky at the time, day or night. I heard he is doing research about the relationship between the monster called the Black Watch, if I call it, and the moon that never sets. The Black Monster? Oh, wait a second. Why'd you drop by? He's next door. Hey, Gavin, stop going around. It's already dark outside. Okay, okay, sorry. So I gotta go back to work. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, so hopefully that unlocked the trigger that we need to get to Fester. Oh, there's people here, here now. I heard King Albert's studio went on a journey. King Albert is a serious person. Maybe went to journey to investigate the state of the world. I hear King Albert's studio. Okay, so it's saying the same thing. Looks yummy. Hmm. Kavi works pretty hard, but she chatters too much. Kavi is in a more chat box of the city. She even forgets to take orders. Uh, platinum hair. I think I saw someone like that in some city. Really? It's rare for you in person to have platinum hair. I wonder if it is due to stress. This is Princess Meal. I used to admire you, but uh, Princess Meal, I, I feel a deep shock as a member of a fan club. That's it. Uh, except for the startup, there are just bites and bobs. Oh, can we grab more stardust? Can that be like infinite stardust? We just keep grabbing them over and over and over again. Oh, it is like nighttime now. Huh. Please make sure that you don't go out at night. We still have been bandits in the city. This must be the house next door. Oh, look at the stars in the sky. I wonder if Mr. Fester is in. Maybe not. The lights are on though. Let me see. Mr. Fester! Are you home? Yes, yes I am. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was admiring the moon. Come on in, please. Let's talk inside. We are here to ask you about the moon that never sets. Oh, about the moon that never sets. Well, wait here for a moment. Now let me get some materials. You're interested in a weird matter. Of course, I cannot make judgments about other people. Please take a look at this. In astronomy, a moon that never sets cannot exist. Cannot exist? That's right. Stars travel the sky by catching the winds of time. But this moon isn't affected by time. It never moves day or night. That's why it's called the moon that never sets. After counting 108 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, a moon child descends upon the earth to fill the world with holy bliss. A poem of yore telling the fate given by the moon. However, what we really get is the spawning of destruction and fear, that is, the black monster. Black monster. 
No, I went back and watched the first video on the, the Black Monster. It, it almost Quiet looks like the Black Monster is a wingling. What does it mean? The mystery has yet to be resolved. I never imagined we would be able to get some information on the black monster here. Did you find this useful? Yes, uh, you think so too, right, Dart? Oh, very good. It is a pleasure to be helpful to such a beautiful lady. Uh, who said who is beautiful? You said who is beautiful? Hey. I guess there are many ways to see things. Ooh, whatever. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> uh, having a good friend is beautiful. It makes me envious. I love those little interactions where you can say something and make someone get like mad at you. It's just, it's just so charming. Oh, it's getting late. I had to hurry up or make, be making the princess wait. That right. It's hard to eat only by astronomy. I'm acting as a governor of Princess Lisa as well. That's right, there's two princesses here, isn't there? Oh, if you want to take a good look at the moon that never sets, go upstairs and have a look through the telescope. It's gonna set in the direction of the moon that never sets. Now that I'm heading to the castle. First, is there any stardust back here? Many things are displaced carelessly. Nope, don't see anything. We stuff back here, though. Uh, it's a great telescope. I want to uh, look through it a little bit. This thing is massive. It's incredible. This is the moon that never sets. It's beautiful. And you know, we just played a game called Lunar, which had a moon in it. I mean, well, many games have moons in it. I mean, Final Fantasy IV have moons in it. But still, it, it's it, it's nice. It, it's very pretty. I will have uh, a uh, boat on the next RPG after the Legend of Dragoon, by the way. And uh, if you want to see what's currently available, check out my spreadsheet. It's uh, tinyurl.com slash flightlistbirdgaming. You can find a link in the description below. And on one of the pages is my recommended RPGs. If you want to recommend something, you can. Just realize that the more games on my list just means the longer it will take me to play all the games I want to play. But I will get to them. Don't worry, eventually. I, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun playing RPGs. It's, it's amazing. I, I love these games. Welcome, I am Nello, the representative of the Green Project, turning the brown barrens to green, the deserts to forest. Don't be so shy. You two wish to bring green back to the earth, don't you? Sure, why not? Yes, we do. I thought so, but it's already late. I'll take a whole night to explain my plan. A whole night, hmm? Actually, it's okay with us, isn't it? Ah, oh, we were in trouble because there was nowhere to stay for the night. We are not allowed to leave town, either. I see, we have plenty of time to tell you about the Green Project tonight, then. The revegetation in the desert is a very interesting issue. Right, in principle, the relationship between humans and the Earth should be. I remember playing an old point and click adventure game called EcoQuest when I was younger. I had this really annoying puzzle where I couldn't get past a shark. But besides that, it was a really fun game uh, about saving the planet and uh, done in a really cool way. You know, back then you had EcoQuest, you had. What was it? The, um, not the Power Rangers. Um, Captain Planet. Uh, 
it was a cool time. Watching the boats? Maybe. They are some kind of flower boats. I've never seen anything like this. I wonder how they bloom. You're excited about it, aren't you? It's like back then, you know, when people talked about saving the planet and all that. It seemed natural. You know, just go out and be a good person, plant a tree, take care of the, the forest. Talking about buds, you've always liked to see flowers blooming. You remember that? Humans should grow up surrounded by greenery. Exactly. Green not only gives peace of mind, but brings us marvelous things. Fruits, vegetables, delicious air, all are bought by greenery. I guess they really will talk it till morning. Oh, the king has such curiosity. <laughs> I hope we can still fill Celeste with green someday. Yes. The issue is how to promote the greening. That's a key issue. The research requires a lot of money. I like how they faded out for that. That was really cool. Have you been to Dano? It's also known as the Flower City. It's a wonderful town filled with green. My dream is to fill up all turbo with green, just like to know. No matter what other people say, I will do it. I'm kind of mad because I can't go in these houses. And I could have swore the left house was open, but I went in the wrong house first, it seems. There are no signs of Lloyd after all. I cannot imagine that Emperor Dole told us a lie. She just sits down and is like chilling. She's always just chilling in the background. Rose is cool. In his last moment, my uncle was himself again. I think we can trust the information that Lloyd headed for Tibora. So we should assume that we crossed paths with Lloyd. So why in the world? In any case, the king is getting along with a motley crew like us. Uh, I was concerned at first. I even imagined that we were going to be pushed around by the king's ego. Please, stop teasing me, both of you. What I would like you to do is just treat me as an equal and as a friend traveling together. Dart is not good at speaking with the courtesy. He gets cramps in his tongue when he tries a long time. Hey! I appreciate your solicitude, your majesty. Let's stop using that, your majesty. We will be in trouble if anybody hears that. Anyway, the priority is to pursue Lloyd. This is not the only town in Tibera. My memory is correct. There should be a town called Dano along the North Sea shore. Oh, let's go there now. Okay, let's leave as soon as possible. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, yeah. I can't think of anything else to do in this town. We've kind of been all the way around it. Okay, so it looks like there's multiple paths here. There's a barrens. What's down here? Because if there's another town, I, I remember them saying something about you had to go through the barrens to get to somewhere else, but I don't think that's to know. I also find it interesting that Dart and Rose kind of have the same weapon in a way, right? It's, it's more like Curse is a, um, like, one of those glove weapons that's got a blade on the end. Except it's not a glove weapon. It's more of a, you know, a blade. I mean, more of a giant sword, but whatever. Wow, Flightless. How bad you have to be to miss a one edition move. Oh, I wanted this takes you back to the other uh, location. These guys aren't doing any damage to me. these guys are actually strong or these guys are just really really weak uh yeah they're really really weak i mean 28 speed somehow rose leveled up off that though i have no idea how but i mean she must have been that close to a level from before 
are barrier stations south of Sodio, north of Sodio. Oh yeah! Yeah, I was right! Question is, where do we give the Stardust to? I think it's the main... The main town? Where Albert is? Which means you gotta go all the way up and around? Is that be the parts? Okay. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and run around and see if I can get up there and I will be... Uh, I'll be back in just a moment. So this is weird. I come here to talk to the guy to give him Stardust and... I don't have an option to give him Stardust. It just says Stardust is everywhere. And you notice the person that was with him is no longer here either. So I don't really know what to do with the Stardust anymore. But you know, I came all this way for that. I might as well stop in. And say hi to mom. Oh, Lavitz, why did you leave before me? Lavitz, oh, Lavitz. That's freaky. It's like she knows he died. We didn't even need to say anything. She just knew that her son passed away. We can never replace the lives, but we would like to act to as your real family. If you were to think of us as your real family, it would be happy than anything. Oh, man. This family is like the best family ever. Like, like seriously, th these people are just so good. We can never replace the lives, but we'd like to act as your real family. Sorry, Lavitz. D to get here is kind of a pain in the butt. I, I went to the wrong place. I, I went to South Sodio. You have to go to North Sodio to get here. And uh, there's a lot of random encounters. And the random encounters are all like really easy enemies. So I must have gotten like five random encounters just trying to get here and uh, laughable. But I mean, it's a good way to get uh, some additions and SP build up, I suppose. But at the same time, it's. It's one of those things where I wish I had a little bit faster travel so I can go back and forth because I gotta go all the way down here I gotta go past the house and so on Okay, we're back to Tibor. I I don't know where this Stardust person is if someone could possibly help me out with that that would be great But we are heading to the Barrens Although I do realize that when I put cuts in the video how long I've actually been recording today and the the video itself is not a long video. It's just the totality of everything I've done. Uh, so needless to say, I need to end this video soon. But I don't want to. <laughs> it's just one of those things where you want to keep playing. That, that's kind of how I feel. I want to keep playing. A warrior's dress. Is that for Rose? No. What is that item? I... Here it is. Is this game trolling me again? I, I just got an armor that... Wait, is it Hashel? No, it can't be Hashel. I mean, it could be. I'm, I'm no judge. It's just, it doesn't seem like it could be Hashel. Oh, I stand corrected. It is Hashel. Oh, it's... Yeah. I mean, heck. Nothing against that. Good job, Hashel. You got you a much better armor. I'm I was just surprised by it, but you know what? Maybe he's going in like a uh, like kilt, you know, like a good Irishman You know, that'd be cool <laughs> I mean, That's kind of how I had to think about him. I, I don't think I ever recognized his His uh character design too closely. Let's see. Is he wearing like a kilt when he fights because that would be amazing. Oh Look at this guy. Look at this guy hopping around. Uh, no, I mean no, he's not He's not, but hey, I don't judge here. Hey, if it gives him a bunch of stats, good. That's all I care about. I'll never forget uh, playing Secret of Mana. And uh, one of like the really good items for Prim, I believe her name was, is this bikini. And it has huge stats. And you're just like, really? Devil punch. Uh, you know, <laughs> really? Just so weird. I love old school RPGs. 
This edition is very smooth. Like, all of Darts editions feel like really smooth. I have not come across one yet that I really feel like is technical in nature. That they all feel like, you know, just normal timing mechanics. I have a pretty easy party overall right now with additions. Huh? Hello? Hey, are you dating these girls in a place like this? Who are you? Hey, did you hear that? You're asking us who we are! I guess they think we're a bunch of doctors! Jimmy a quack! Where's Hashel? Where did he go? Surprise, surprise! We are the one the only Get Witch King! But so bad we scared goes back to hell! Ha! They have no class. Hey, what'd you say? Yo, maybe I should have cooked these stomachs! Well, um, I know what? Now that's gonna be worth the money and up there the bimbos! Ha! We have nothing to give you, but if you insist, how about a miserable ending for you? Stop behaving like that! Just leave your valuables to that simple! Get out of our way! We don't have time to play with you. Do you know who you're dealing with? This is your last chance. Get out of our way, or you'll need a veal, doctor. Grrr! You're not supposed to be armed? I mean, do the girls have weapons? What the heck is up with that? I'm totally take off special heads, will you, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have fun taking these guys out. Do we go Super Saiyan here? I mean, chances are we're probably gonna hit a town before long, right? Uh, I could. Could. I very well could. I mean, it's not that far to go back either, is it? Um. Sure. Let's show these guys what real power looks like. Oh, look at Hatchels. I love that, like, purplish armor. It looks so cool. Explosion! I know the other spell is more powerful and better, but dang, I love a good explosion, explosion! spell. Boom! That was a good shot. I'd be really interested to see what that HP pulls are like. That way I could tell how powerful they are. I mean, they're pretty powerful. Those, those attacks hurt. Okay, yeah, they're, they're pretty dang powerful. Atomic Mind. Uh, let's see it. Oh, I love Atomic lightning magic. Mind. Oh, that's great. Dude, that's like a super nuke with a lightning attack. That is awesome. They do a lot of damage, but it's still awesome. Death Dimension. Do a lot of damage though. Kind of shocked by that. Uh, I'm gonna probably heal with her on the next shot. Uh, but for now, let's hit with another explosion. I mean, super get rid of the ads. The better off we're gonna be.
take care of those guys. Uh, yeah, let's attack. Uh, yeah, let's do an astral drain. Looks like he's about dead. I mean, he's, he has no chance. We can't do a uh, final burst because that would help to kill this guy instantly, but we, we got the special, so we do our full attack. Wow, it's a lot of damage. I'd be surprised if we survived that. Cinematic Slash! Oh, kinda dodged it. Cinematic Slide! <laughs> Help! Wow! Uh, it, it's, it's my fault! Uh, I want to do it again, please forgive me! Just kidding! <laughs> Whoa! My spirit! You son of a... Yeah, what's this? Huh? Ah! 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 Run away! Run away! We went away! Ha 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 ha! We went away! Away! We went away! That rap bastard stole my dragon spirit! You have a ton of EXP. But I need that, dang it! It's a really good item! It's like one of the best items in the game! He's gone. It's my fault for not being careful enough. I took your spirit, but it's stolen. It's the last thing I want to have happen. Anyway, let's move on to Denau. We might find out something about the Game Witch King when we get there. Bastard stole my spirit. Can't believe that. I, I actually can't believe that. Alright, my friends. Well, I think I'm going to call it here. Um, Does this way take me to a town or just not a screen? Okay, so what I need to do in the next episode is double back around, though. Uh, to get back to that other place. I, I want to thank you all so very much. You all are the number one YouTube comedian in all YouTube, and I can't thank you enough for all that you do to me, um, you do for me. Uh, Y'all are the best, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I do want to say thank you to Fleeting Days, who's been watching our playthrough. Dropped a uh, super thanks on the on one of our previous videos. Uh, that means a lot to me. Whenever someone goes out of the way to do that for me, it, sh it just blows me away, and I... I have zero words. It's it's amazing that you choose to bless me in that way. So thank you very much. I do truly, 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 truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And uh, thank you, everyone, for, for all that you do. Much love to you. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, busy, awesome day. And until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go... Please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.